And speaking of boxing, people don't know that London Shoot isn't just an MMA gym. It's an all-round mm-hmm. combat sports gym. It is a boxing gym. <laughs> Derek Chisora trains out of there. And <laughs> yeah. speaking of influencer boxing, KSI chose London Shoot to be mm-hmm. his, his gym. Um, mm-hmm. How did that come about? Like, was it just one random day <clears> that you saw KSI in the gym? Did you have a relationship with him beforehand? And have you got to know him on a personal level since he's been in London Shoot? Yeah, so he... Um... His manager, Mams, is, uh, and uh, my coaches, Alexis and, uh, and Marius, uh, were friends a long time. So they've been friends for many years. And obviously, you know, when, you, when you're a friend with someone, you can, you can see each other's growth. The, you know, Mams can see how amazing the gym is. He's come in a couple of times just to be around his friend and see, the, you know, the talent level in the gym and see the, you know, we've had... David Hay in the gym as a boxer, like you say, Derek Chisora, seeing they used to coach um, Dylan White um, for his for his first his first and only MMA fight and his kickboxing fights and so on and so forth. So he's seen the, their progression as a gym and vice versa. Obviously, they've seen his progression with his management and who he's managing now and so on and so forth. I think Mams asked, uh, I think, I'm sure it was like they, he wasn't happy with the, the training that was, you know, um, JJ was getting at the time. And I don't even know if it was a case of him coming over full time. It was more almost like filling the gap for him to find somebody. But you know, when you actually get in uh, and and to training with uh, the the London Shoot guys, you see the one the technical side of it, but also the the um, the work that we put in. We've had guys from all levels of MMA, all levels of boxing, come and they're like. You guys train like this every day? Like <laughs> they don't get it. Like Alexis is a beast, and he he does not he does not care. He'll push you to you you wanna you, to you don't you wanna question your your life decisions. <laughs> so um, JJ's got there. Obviously, you see the transformation. One in his his physicality, his fitness, his technical ability, and then it's just a case of yeah, why would you go anywhere that's working? You know, go anywhere else and it's working where, where you're at. So. Um, and yes, uh, obviously, just because you see, I see him near enough every day, you just you develop a, a certain re- uh, relationship with him. But at the same time, I don't like to to bug people. You know, he's 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 uh, uh, the type of fame that is 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 almost scary. And at the time, I didn't because I didn't really follow it in the same way. I knew who he was, um, but most of the other guys and stuff, I don't really. You know, I don't even now. I don't really kind of get into it too much. Um, but you see the the, the the level, and I'm talking from kids that are four years old that know who he is to adults sixty plus that know who he is, um, and you know the 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 different level of like I say fame that is it's, it's, it's scary level of fame. But he respects everybody in the gym, um, and he gets on with everybody in the gym. He fits right in, and everybody gets on with him. So it's, it's cool, and we're, we're we're quite a private gym anyway. Nobody's in there trying to. Um, get selfies for likes and stuff so he feels comfortable uh, in there so, you know, I think people are used to so many uh, stars coming in from all walks of life you know Skepta used to uh, train in our gym as well um, like just people like that just randomly walk for, through so I think the guys in the gym are used to it um, and so it feels it feels it's a nice getaway for a lot of these uh, celebrities so uh, as well as a place to work really hard I even feel like he's emulated a bit of your style. If you see yeah, the way yeah, we, his boxing yeah. fights are played out, I'm like, I see a little MVP <laughs> yeah. in him, you know? Yeah, we've shown him a few tricks. We've shown him a few tricks. And um, uh, like, this is another thing like I, I'm, I'm happy for. If I don't achieve nothing else, I feel like I've left a mark, even just in my style. Um, seeing KSI, you know, utilize these moves is unbelievable. For me, it's, 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 uh, it's almost like a thank you to, to, you know, to, for bringing the style. Seeing just even seeing Alexis pass it on to the other guys in the gym, people come to our gym and they they're not accustomed to how a lot of our, the MMA fighters in the gym move, and it's because I've I've managed to introduce and and, and spread that kind of uh, my style and 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 you know Alexis is great at infusing it with everything else uh, and other you know other styles that are making it match everybody. So everybody's movement in the gym is unbelievable. You see from like the likes of like Norbert Naveni, um, his style sideways on. Felix Klinkhammer, his style, sideways on, bouncing, moving. I, I'm, I'm passing it down to a lot of the guys in the gym and, I, and, and I'm, I'm thankful to be able to, to leave something behind. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. Hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Share this with your friends. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more amazing content planned. So jump along for the ride.